Hello there, we're back. And this is for Chapter 3 Excel Tutorials. Don't mind me, i got to move my little video monitor out of the way. Now you can see I've made a spreadsheet that has five problems in it, the five problems that I'm going to do for these tutorials. Now they're not the exact same problems you'll have to do for your Excel assignments, but they're really close. And I've very clearly labeled each of the tabs, and I have all the data sets in there, except for 3.3. This is blank. We'll talk about that more then. But I've got all the data for the other ones. And I've already saved the file for the first time with my name on it. Tucky Chapter 3 Excel. All right, let's go look at 3-1 number 29 and see what they want us to do. All right, it says here, determine the shape of the distribution of weights of M&Ms by drawing a frequency histogram. Compute the mean and median. All right, well, we should know how to draw a frequency histogram from earlier in section 2.2, but maybe we've forgotten. So let's remind ourselves. I'm going to go to page 87 for a second. Now right here it has constructing a frequency histogram, and it says something about, on this page, sorry, page 86, it says at the very bottom, the class lower class limit of the first class, you should choose the smallest observation in your data set, or a convenient number slightly lower than that. And then your class width, you generally need somewhere between 5 and 20 classes. Anywhere in between there is good. And then to find the class width, you take your largest data value minus your smallest data value and divide by the number of classes. All right, no problem. Let's go back to our data. Now I can see here, I can't even tell what my lowest and highest numbers are. Ugh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on column A, and I'm going to go up here to the data ribbon, data, and I'm going to click on this A to Z. That's going to sort the data from lowest to highest. See, there it is. So 0.79 is my lowest, and if I scroll down, I can see 0.95 is my highest. Great. All right, so that gives me a starting point. So for the class width, I'm going to need to figure out my highest number, which was in cell A51, right? Don't believe me. There it is, A51, minus my lowest number, which is in cell A2, and I'm going to add, so take the difference between the two, I'm going to divide it by, well, here you can pick anywhere between 5 and 20. It's sort of whatever works for you. Let's say I go with 10, just for the heck of it. And I can see that's 0 0.016. Hmm. Let's round that to 0 0.02, just for fun. All right, now let's go over here and let's figure out our lower class limits. And let's figure out our upper class limits. And again, I know we did this already in 2.2, but it doesn't hurt to review. There we go. All right, so I'm going to make 0 0.79 my lowest limit. And then I'm going to find my next number by adding that to 0 .02, 0 0.002. I'm sorry, 0 0.02. Enter. Let me click on that again so you can see. It takes this cell right here and adds 0 0.02. And then I can drag it down. Oopsie, get the handle, drag. And then over here, it has to be 0 0.80, because it has to be just a little bit below 0 0.81. And now I have to take that number, cell F2, and add 0 0.02 to that, because the class width works for both the upper and lower class limits. All right, I don't need the 0 0.97, so I'm going to delete that. Now I have to go through and count my frequencies for each of these. All right, now that I showed you how to do before, but let me remind you, there's only one in here, but let's look at the next one. 0.81 to 0.82, there's three of them, and you can see it in the top left corner. It says 3R. All right, I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to fill in all my frequencies. All right, so we're back. I've typed in all my frequencies, and I did myself one better. I actually typed in all my classes, too. So 0 0.792, 0 0.8, and so on. Go to Insert, click Column, pick the top left one, and boom, you have a frequency histogram. And you can go change the labels. I'll pause it while I do that. There we go. I added a title, and I got rid of the gaps, because there shouldn't be any gaps for a histogram like this. Awesome. It looks pretty symmetrical to me. Next, we'll find out the mean and median and double check whether it really is symmetrical. So stay tuned. 